about the weather right now, maybe a lesson in plate tectonics today. Quite a shift going on in Cuba and Puerto Rico. Uh, yes, that is true. We had an earthquake today, a pretty serious earthquake. As a matter of fact, this is one of the highest ones that you can get mm. on the Richter scale. Let me show you what happened earlier, where this took place. This was over in the Cuba region, not too far from Jamaica and Cuba. It was rated 7.7, .7, which is a pretty significant and serious type. And the good news, if there's any good news with this, is that it was over open water. Water, but the f feeling of this could really be felt as far north as Tampa, Florida. The depth of this was about six miles, and this type of magnitude, magnitude can cause some serious damage. So we'll be watching this for any additional aftershocks. There have been some that have been reported there over that region. And of course, we're certainly going to have to keep an eye just in case if any tsunamis can try to form as well. There has been some waves of tsunami waves that have been observed in this region from earlier this afternoon that occurred at about one o'clock. We were just talking about the big game. We get you ready for that forecast and the weather will be looking a lot better there by time we get to Sunday. We have a series of disturbances moving toward Miami, Florida, and we're going to be having some rain the next few days, especially Friday and Saturday. But by time kickoff happens at 530 Central Time on Fox 51, the temperatures should be right around 70 and gradually beginning to cool down. Temperatures there are very warm into to the lower 70s. Let's bring you back to us here at home, keeping an eye on the area of moderate to heavier precipitation. This is moving through off to the west and to the southwest of the Tyler area. You can notice this precipitation moderate to heavy right about to move into the Jacksonville area here in about 15, no more than 20 minutes or so. You can notice there there's been a lot of lightning, even some areas of purple, which at times can give us an indication that we could have some small hail that's being detected in that. Now we give you a look at the wind detection a bit earlier this afternoon back toward Mejia and near Corsicana had some reports of some funnels. We're not finding any sort of rotation happening now as this line moves in, but there could easily be some gusty winds and the primary concern does look to be some very heavy rainfall and of course lightning. If you have our storm team app, you've probably been notified if you're in this area as lightning has been nearby. So we'll keep an eye on that precipitation. Elsewhere, we have a couple of showers that will continue to push through. This is going to be the main batch. Looks like this is the final round that will pass through over the next few hours. Futurecast is just a little slow on this, but it really does pick up on it. So I applaud Futurecast for that, but the timing just a tad bit behind. The rain chance, though, will still remain as we head through this evening and into the overnight. The area of low pressure will move off and we'll get a northwest wind for tomorrow, but you notice the clouds, they're still going to hang around with us. Maybe a couple of breaks. I certainly cannot rule that out. Some of us did see that today. The bigger story tomorrow are the colder temperatures. We're in the upper 40s to near 50 on Wednesday and Thursday. Another rain chance Thursday night into early Friday, and hopefully by Friday afternoon, we'll decrease those clouds and get the return of sun before another rain chance comes in Monday. Deep East Texas, also with a couple of light rain chances the next few days after tonight's rain. You're a true man of science all the way from meteorology to geology. Thank yeah. you. Yes. We applaud you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes, coming up in